grand old partisan, celebrates more than 16 decades of Republican heroes and heroics. Today, I spotlight the Cannon House office building. This first office complex for U.S. representatives was authorized by the GOP-controlled 57th Congress. Its architecture was of the Beaux Arts style, then popular in France. April 14, 1906, President Theodore Roosevelt spoke at the dedication. Quote, Over a century ago, Washington laid the cornerstone of the Capitol in what was then little more than a tract of wooded wilderness here beside the Potomac. We now find it necessary to provide by great additional buildings for the business of the government. This growth in the need for the housing of the government is but a proof and example of the way in which the nation has grown and the sphere of action of the national government has grown. We now administer the affairs of the nation in which the extraordinary growth of population has been outstripped by the growth of wealth and the growth in complex interests. The building was later named for Joseph Cannon, the speaker when construction began. Following were the Longworth House Office Building in 1933 and the Rayburn House Office Building in 1965. Back to basics for the Republican Party is my civil rights history of the GOP. To quote the book, the more we Republicans know about the history of our party, the more the Democrats will worry about the future of theirs. For more information, see grandoldpartisan.com.